technology can influence our daily lives. And for today's special report, we introduce cosmetics which were developed using nanotechnology. Nanotechnology opens up a whole new world of research as it involves controlling the nanoscale sequence of atomic elements and molecules. It has been put to practical use in many industrial fields, and in recent years, many beauty products which use nanotechnology have been released in Japan. Here's Catherine Kobayashi reporting on one company's attempt to cross industries and a look into the world of Japan's high-tech cosmetics. Hello, I'm here in a cosmetic store in Tokyo. Many products these days, including cosmetics, are labeled with the word nano. Many Japanese women who love concoctions that promise beautiful skin are readily picking up these products. Japan leads in the field of nanotechnology. In cosmetics, nanotechnology is used in sunscreen to block UV rays, in products that combine oil and water, and in powders to give it a silky feel. As cosmetics claiming these high performances gain more popularity, skincare products and supplements created using nanotechnology were released by Fujifilm, a film manufacturer with the highest shares in the Japanese film market. Today's report focuses on this company's seemingly unlikely venture into a new market and the unique technology used in photo processing, which their skincare product research was based on. We visited Fujifilm Advanced Research Laboratories in Kanagawa Prefecture where the new products were developed. Fuji has a lot of experience in medical diagnostic imaging. And also uh, Fuji has a lot of technology uh, which is possible to apply for healthcare and medical care products. Therefore, this uh, new business is for us is not jumping into different industry, but this is natural evolution for our company. So what exactly is nano? Nano is derived from the Greek word which means miniature. One nanometer is one billionth of a meter. Nanotechnology is cutting-edge technology which analyzes and controls molecules which are invisible to the naked eye. So what is Fujifilm's unique nanotechnology about? We've been working in the photography technology area quite long. Emulsification technology uh, plays uh, one of the very important role in the color photography. One of the main ingredients used to make photographic film is collagen. Fujifilm has a history of over several decades in collagen research. In recent years, they have succeeded in reproducing the same collagen peptide seen in the human body through genetic engineering. The control of active oxygen or free radicals, which is the cause of substance deterioration, is vital in improving the sensitivity of photographic film or making it possible to preserve printed photos for a prolonged time. Active oxygen also contributes to aging, therefore Fujifilm's technology of controlling active oxygen by using vitamin C as an antioxidant is used in the healthcare industry as well. Fujifilm calls their unique nanotechnology FTD. FTD is the formulation of necessary components, target of the specific area, and the effective delivery of the nano-sized particles. This is an experiment which uses the antioxidant astanzithin. FTD technology was used on the right, and conventional technology was used on the left. Fujifilm's outstanding nano-emulsifying technology can be seen in the evident difference in clarity. Um, in order to make an emulsion, you need an emulsifier. Uh, in photographic area, you choose as many as you want, but to your uh, cosmetics and uh, uh, food, you want to use edible ones or very mild uh, natural ingredients. To sum it up, the skincare products were developed based on one, FTD technology, 
two, control of active oxygen, and three, research of collagen, which as mentioned earlier is one of the main ingredients for film. Many years of research in photographic film combined with effective natural substances is the foundation of Fujifilm's new line. Besides Fujifilm, there are many companies producing cosmetics using nanotechnology or high technology. I'm here at a dermatology clinic to ask the doctor more about cosmetics using nanotechnology. How do you feel about the recent increase of products using nanotechnology? で、そのために新しい化粧品が発売の際には Japan's cosmetic market is estimated to be 2 trillion yen and steadily growing. Consumers are now readily picking up nanotech cosmetics, but some manufacturers actually use the nanotechnology simply as a marketing strategy due to its popularity. While corporate ethics are a must, consumers should also be prepared to make wise decisions when choosing products. Fuji has contributed emotional smile through the photo. But from now on, on top of that, we'd like to contribute healthy smile by these kind of products. Nanotechnology is considered to be one of the major next-generation industrial technologies, along with information and communications technology and biotechnology. The nanotechnology market is expected to be in trillions of yen by the year 2010. Innovative products which use nanotechnology are already seen in our daily lives, such as computer screens, fuel cells, tires, and water-repellent clothing. As Fujifilm has demonstrated, nanotechnology is used in a variety of industries such as the electronics, medical and energy industry. It will be interesting to see how nanotechnology will spread to other sectors and what new products will be created. I'm Catherine Kobayashi for Japan BizCast. Nanotechnology is considered to be the key technology of the 21st century. As rapid growth is expected in the market, there's a fierce competition between companies and academic institutions for research and development. Cosmetics are the most widespread nanotechnology products in Japan. There are products like these where advanced technologies are applied successfully, but on the other hand, there are products which effects have yet to be validated. So it is important for consumers to think wisely and choose the right product. Well, that's all for today's Japan BizCast. Please be sure to tune in again next time. Until then, bye-bye.